What are you, what are you doing here? It's our boat. <clears throat> so you're sneaking onto our boat at 5 a.m. with empty tanks. Season one of Outer Banks introduced us to the Pogues and the Kooks and the Camerons. And if you watched it, you know what I'm talking about. John B., Kiara, Pope, and JJ are the Pogues, and later Sarah Cameron, who is actually a Kook, joins them as she has the hots for John B. In season one, they search for a ship called the Royal Merchant and its gold. They find the gold and then lose it again as it's flown out to the Bahamas. We went out looking for answers regarding season one's ending and Easter eggs. Here is everything you need to know about Outer Banks season two. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. What happened in season one again? Watching Netflix's teen drama Outer Banks left us longing for a suntan, a summer romance, and a sun-drenched vacation, especially after more than a year of a global health situation. But more than anything, it left us longing for a second season to make sense of the show's wild final episode. Thankfully, our Outer Banks fantasies are coming true. Netflix confirmed there will be a second season, and as of April 2021, the cast has finished shooting in Charleston, South Carolina. Outer Banks follows the socioeconomic rivalry between the elite kooks and the working-class pogues in the North Carolina region known as the Outer Banks. It's the sort of place where you either have two jobs or two houses, the show's trailer explains. Two tribes, one island. At the show's center is a treasure hunt for $400 million dollars aboard a sunken ship. Along the way, there are love triangles and murder motives to satisfy all your infatuation and vindictive urges. If you too found yourself invested in a show that somehow fills the holes One Tree Hill, The Goonies, and Gossip Girl left in your life, here's everything you need to know about what's coming next on this great show. When will season two be released? Back in July 2020, Netflix renewed the show for a second season. The creators had already started writing season two before it was even given the go-ahead. Co-creator Jonas Pate revealed that they were given the green light to start writing the next season before season one was even released on the streaming service. According to Chase Stokes' Instagram account, season one started filming in April 2019 and wrapped up in October 2019. The show then aired in April 2020. If season two follows a similar creation schedule, we could expect a new season at some point in 2021. Filming on season two started in August 2020 following global health situation delays. In March 2021, the cast headed to Barbados to start filming in the Caribbean and they wrapped up the filming in early April. Chase Stokes revealed that they finished filming over the Easter weekend and said goodbye with an Instagram post. What a labor of love this season has been. To the best crew in the business, thank you. You fought through adversity with a sense of humor, sacrificed your time during a global health situation to bring to life another incredibly compelling story. This isn't an easy show to do, and for those that are there before we get to work and those who stay when we leave, my heart is filled with gratitude for you. This is more than just a TV show. This has become a big old family. Thank you for being there on the most difficult days to make us all smile and on the best days to laugh and joke with us. It's bittersweet, but I'm very, very proud of this season. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Love you all. It's a wrap. OBX2, here we come. JB, out. There's no confirmation of a release date just yet, but it seems pretty certain that we'll see season two at some point in mid to late 2021. Who of the cast will return? Thankfully, after a dramatic season finale, all our Pogues will return in season two. Chase Stokes, John B., Madison Bailey, Kiara, Austin North, Topper, Rudy Panko, JJ, and Jonathan Davis, Pope, will probably be back for more mystery as well as Madeline Klein, who plays Sarah Cameron, one of the kooks. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Pate also confirmed that Drew Starkey, who plays Sarah's brother Rafe, and Austin North, who plays Sarah's ex-boyfriend Topper, will also play bigger roles. Charles Eston will also return as Ward Cameron. A number of cast members teased the second season throughout its production, including Madison Bailey, who said, So excited to give y'all season two, it's not even funny. With Jonathan Davis adding, Big facts, I promise y'all ain't ready. Exciting new characters are also being expected to join, and we already know about two of them. Elizabeth Mitchell from Lost and Once Upon a Time will play Limbry, a compelling woman with a level of toxicity and menace underneath her seemingly courteous ways. Carlacia Grant Grant Greenleaf will also join the cast as a recurring character named Cleo. Per deadline, Cleo is a confident and fearless Nassau girl, and a formidable, artful dodger whose world collides with the Pogues. Who knows, maybe they'll even team up. What can we expect for Season 2? Season 2 is expected to surprise us in many ways, as Davis promised. Any treasure hunt film or series is interesting for a large portion of the population. This is what the fans think and what we think is going to happen in Season 2. Fan theories. Fan theories are already beginning to circulate, with many claiming that the budding romance between Kiara Carrera, Madison Bailey, and Pope won't last long into the second season. If it does, what is there left to make it interesting? Reddit user Allure1014 posted, I mean, based on one 30-second filming clip I saw, I think Kiara and Pope won't work out. 
Whether they turn that into a it was just the heat of the moment kiss situation and end it in the first episode, or make them struggle through a relationship Kiara was clearly guilt tripped into for half the season, who knows? Many also think Kiara is destined to be with JJ, Rudy Panko, even proposing that the new season could end on a cliffhanger kiss between the two. A further fan theory thinks that Ward's wife Rose, Carolina Rapaglu, could be the antagonist of season two. Ward will use her to get the gold back, she could double cross him, and she wants revenge for him in jail and Sarah's death, one fan wrote on Twitter. It seems this theory extends to Reddit, with one user stating, the most underrated evil character in the show is Rose, Ward's wife. She not only knows about all of Ward's crimes and murders, but rationalizes them and consistently keeps him from doing the right thing. I wouldn't be surprised if in season two you find out she was the mastermind behind his involvement in the Royal Merchant. Our theories. The end of the first season sees John B. pulling the veil off Ward's crimes, resulting in the latter's arrest. John B. and Sarah find themselves in the open seas caught in a tropical storm. As their boat capsizes, they're presumed dead. While their friends mourn their death, we learn that they've been rescued and have another shot at recovering the gold from the Bahamas. In an unexpected turn of events, Kiara and Pope start a relationship. The second season will begin with Kiara, Pope, and JJ grieving and trying to rearrange their lives without John B. and Sarah. While the couple presumed dead will be seen taking things forward in the Bahamas, naturally the dynamics within the so-called remaining pogues will shift as they try to look after one another and seek justice for what has happened to their friends. The creators have promised new mysteries, while Ward will take center stage as the villain. Rafe and Topper will also have bigger roles to play in the second season. Since we know that John B. and Sarah are on their way to Nassau aboard the fishing trawler, it takes no genius to realize that Carlacia Grant as Cleo will become their guide and maybe even friend. We suspect she'll first see them as a threat or opportunity, but then things will change. What we don't know is when the Pogues will all be reunited, but it makes more sense that John B. will let them know as soon as they arrive in Nassau, at the latest. The possibility exists that John B. and Sarah want to remain lost at sea to keep their enemies at bay, but the Pogues trust each other enough to keep the secret. Another possibility is that the trawler reports two people saved at sea and that Ward will soon be out looking for John B. and Sarah. The probability that this will happen is almost a certainty at some stage. The big one. This is something that has us all talking. While we knew that things would not be the same in the OBX season 2 when we saw our favorite Pogues again, we definitely didn't see this coming. In a new interview with Entertainment Tonight, series star Madeline Klein revealed that a time jump is happening happening. This is a micro time jump, she said. There's the kind of shock where you turn the page and you read that moment and you gasp and then your mind starts going a thousand miles a minute. You're like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so fun to shoot. This is going to be fun and it's going to be shocking to watch as well. This should be quite the moment and could change a lot of things, which makes certain parts of season two extremely unpredictable. Is this what Johnson Davis meant when he said, big facts, I promise y'all ain't ready. We told you season two would change everything and I'm sure you agree. The time jump alone is a major event and then there's the possibility that Cleo and one of the Pogues fall in love if she does not turn out to be another antagonist. What do you think? Let us know in a comment down below for further discussion. Now we all wait for season two. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to check back for more and until then, stay safe.